a very quick reminder to you, believers. Anytime you send beats ahead of you, it's an enforcement. It's not you sending a letter of invitation in which you request evil spirits to comply with justice, in which you request fellow human beings to comply with safety. No. When you send peace ahead of you, it's really enforcing peace in circumstances that you'll be involved in. And that peace works in your advantage, and that peace is only there because you are there. You can send peace ahead on behalf of someone else, but that will only be effective because you send it. The sender is the one who makes it effective. So if you send peace ahead, for example, for your cousin or your niece, but your, let's say you send for your niece, but your niece has some uh, character defects and people can't stand her, you send peace ahead of her, all the people who can't stand her now have to deal with her influence and they can't act out against her. The moment they find out that she's backed up by you, the attacks will come on you because you're the one that enabled your niece to be prosperous. That's how it works. The one sending peace ahead is one enforcing something. So as a believer, you're able to assist and enable others. You're able to coach others energetically. One wording here. Beware you don't enable people that are misusing your faith. Because if you have someone that is not interested in solutions, but they know that you have the ability to enforce peace, they'll hang out around you to win your trust and they'll ask for prayers, they'll ask for support, and you think they're genuine. But later you figure out that they are just seeking relief from difficulty, and because you send peace ahead of them, indeed they don't have to face with uh, dangerous circumstances. But does it lead them closer to the Lord? No. They're just making use of the safety you walk in. And in that safety, instead of doing the right thing by relying on Christ themselves, they now remain in darkness and they will misuse that safety that you enforce on their behalf to commit all types of crimes. That's why, believer, not everyone should be involved with you. There are a lot of people, there are many people that want to be involved with you when you walk by faith. But it's the Holy Spirit that doesn't al allow them to be involved with you. Let me tell you, there are many people that do want to be involved with you, but for the wrong reasons. You may be a believer who only gets a minimum, less than minimum wage each month on your paycheck. And yet, you have many people from the opposite sex that keep calling you. They want to be around you. And you think, what? I'm not even flirting. I'm not doing any of that. Why do they keep coming near me? Here's why. This, if you're a male believer, they sense this healthy, masculine in intensity around you. And that attracts them naturally as females. But they are worldly women. They see this, they are attracted to this intense, safe masculinity. But they are toxic. So when they come near you, it's only to withdraw from you to get relief. They're not forfeiting their toxicity, nor are they seeking help. So they'll be charging you with their toxicity while they will draw safety from you. If you're a female believer, you may have other females doing this to you also. Just because they see your kind, you have this gentle and this softness around you that has a healing effect. And now they, because they're toxic females, they don't have this healing effect working. Now they want to uh, drain you. I'm telling you, as a believer, you're, let me say, as a believer, you are famous. Not famous like Hollywood has it starts being famous. You're famous in the sense that evil spirits know who you are and many people, witches, warlocks, people involved in a cult know who you are. You may not even have social media. You may not have social media at all, yet you have hundreds of people throughout the country where you reside that know who you are. Maybe thousands of people. You know why? Because those that are involved in the paranormal, they do their homework, they do their research. You don't need to have social media. You don't, need, you don't, you don't even have to be online. They can find out who you are when you walk by faith. So you're more famous than you realize. Just realize this. And not everyone that wants to be around you wants to be there for a good reason. So beware who you sponsor. Agree with Christ.